and this is Anna. We have, we have very big shoes to fill today because we stand here before you representing the families that Washburn serves. This building, as I look around it, is amazing. I'm here with gratitude. Thank you to everyone in this community that made this facility possible. You have created a place of hope for families like ours. Our family has four adopted daughters. Anna, our youngest, came to us at five weeks old. Her birth mother had taken drugs during her pregnancy, and we knew there would be challenges. But we loved her no matter what. The challenges came early. When we go into her room in the morning sometimes, we'd find her, that she'd managed to take all of her clothes off, including her diaper. So we found a new use for duct tape. <laughs> keep her diaper on. It was gray then. None of those cute patterns they have now. <laughs> we also kept the feet off her footy pajamas and put them on backwards so she couldn't unzip herself. In preschool, she became disruptive and oppositional. In kindergarten, she was diagnosed with ADHD. She responded to medication and then didn't, and then responded again and then didn't. It became a vicious cycle. Then in the summer of 2012, when she was eight years old, her behavior became increasingly aggressive and violent. At this point, we didn't know where to turn, and then we found Washburn. I called and requested the services of a case manager who could help us navigate the waters of mental illness. Our case manager was amazing. She guided us to resources we didn't even know were available. In September of that year, Anna was hospitalized. She was not safe at home. When she became angry, upset, or frustrated, she would be aggressive and violent, throwing things, breaking things, and hurting us physically. I was usually the target. Our case manager suggested at this time that we enlist the help of a crisis therapist, and very soon we had another, oh, another person from Washburn who knew what we were going through and how to help us. From September through December of that year, Anna was hospitalized four times. She missed all the holidays, Halloween, Thanksgiving and Christmas. It was a very difficult and dark road for us. Our crisis therapist showed us that it wasn't just Anna in crisis, but our whole family was. We completely embraced their support. Suddenly we didn't feel so helpless and alone. Up until this point, we had isolated ourselves. We didn't go anywhere. We didn't see anyone. Her sisters didn't have friends over. We just couldn't do it. And they showed us the, the ways that we could support and nurture Anna, and they gave Anna the tools to take care of herself when she became anxious, frustrated, or angry without becoming aggressive. And we all continue to use those tools today. Washburn gave us our lives back. We'll be forever, forever grateful for that. I honestly don't know where we would be without their help. Washburn really is a miracle to our family and to many others. They gave us help when we so desperately needed it. And most of all, they gave us hope. I have no illusions that Anna is cured. Her condition, her mental illness, is something she will have to monitor and manage for the rest of her life. We are so grateful to Washburn for the skills and strategies they taught us. And I'm so happy for the families that would be able to walk through these hallways and experience the same hope that Anna and our family did. Thank you again. Wow.